Alexander Aban expressed the regrets during the congregation of the second cohort of BSc nursing at the perioperative and critical care nursing and ophthalmic nursing schools at Kolebu here in Accra. You will be amazed the number of calls I have received from people begging to be part of that team of health workers who may be sent to that country. I was a little surprised that Ghanaians would not want to work for Ghana, but are ready to jump ship to other areas. The Deputy Minister then urged the graduating critical care and ophthalmic nurses to ensure those whose taxes were used in training them get the benefit of their services. Whatever you have achieved is a call to service to other people. So if you have secured academic laurels and we cannot get the benefit from you, it's as though we have gone to fetch water with basket. Please, let us feel you. Let us see the quality that you have had. The perioperative and critical care nursing and ophthalmic nursing schools were established in 1989 in response to the critical health care needs. The two schools have gone through various phases of advancement from program, diploma, advanced diploma and now Bachelor of Science. This managers of the institution say is critical to increasing professionalism and ensure primary eye care, including health promotion. To be called a professional nurse, one must have a degree to be at par with other nurse professionals internationally. The development of new techniques and in the diagnosis and treatment of eye conditions have made it necessary to have more knowledgeable professionals in the eye health discipline. Principal of the perioperative and critical care nursing school, Dr. Kwekwa Santikrobia, wants government to turn attention to nurses and midwives to help fast track the attainment of the universal health goals. Nurses and midwives, as well as our contribution to healthcare delivery, are often undervalued. And we believe we could make a better contribution if we are enabled to work to the limit of our competence having acquired specialized education. The global health coverage and other health care goals will not be achieved unless nurses and midwives are supported and empowered. The BSc science degree became possible following the two schools' affiliation with the University of Cape Coast. Even though education is a right, not every qualified prospective student is able to assess higher education in Ghana because most of the population are poor. Accordingly, I appeal to schools to consider instituting scholarship schemes for brilliant but needy students in their schools. The second congregation saw nearly 200 nurses completing various courses with 28 obtaining first class.